PFIC is a devastating disease. Uh, it is a, a genetic disorder that affects somewhere between 1 in 50,000 to 1 in 100,000 live births. Uh, it, uh, it, 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 is, it is a disease that presents itself as terrible cholestasis, so very high elevations of bile acids and absolutely horrific pruritus. These children you know, literally peel their skin off. They describe it as their bones rubbing against uh, their skin. Uh, very serious disease. Uh, the, most of the children untreated uh, will die you know, by age 20. Uh, and, uh, and it's a disease that is, at the beginning, a little bit challenging to diagnose, but very quickly gets diagnosed. You know, these children have a failure to thrive. They don't grow, they don't sleep. They start to become very paritic. They find their way to their pediatrician and eventually to a, 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 a pediatric hepatologist who confirms the, the diagnosis with the genotype. Fortunately, the treatment options right now are pretty grim. The first thing that the parents would like help with is with the paritis, because the child has not stopped, the parents have not, the family has been up for quite some time. So the current treatment is a number of off-label drugs, such as versal deoxycholic acid, rifampin, et cetera, that are used. These drugs sometimes work, but if they do work, their effect fades, because they do nothing for the underlying liver disease. Uh, so very quickly, the parents are faced with two surgical options, one of those options being liver transplant, the other option being a partial external biliary diversion surgery. Liver transplant, limited by the number of livers that are available and the complications that go with you know, liver transplant surgery and the immunosuppression that goes on later on. Partial external biliary diversion is effectively they put a hole in the baby and they drain those bile acids into an external stoma bag. That surgery is actually pretty effective in abating the symptoms of pruritus and the children grow and they do pretty well. But unfortunately, the surgery only works about two thirds to three quarters of the time. So the current treatment options are, are inadequate and you know, very difficult for families. And so PFIC is a genetic disorder, but it's an autosomal recessive gene. And that's what makes it pretty tough on parents, because the parents generally do not know that they're carriers of this gene. And so when they have their baby and they don't know exactly what's going on, uh, they find it that, that their child has PFIC, and it's quite a shocking and devastating experience when you talk to parents about it. Uh, it's a devastating experience to find out about the diagnosis and it's horrible to see how their children suffer with unbelievable paritis.